Good morning, my incredibly hard-working, beautiful barn animals, whom I love equally. Even though I just almost stabbed that one in the butt, it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Empty thine pockets. Oh, I need to put the crab cakes back. We don't need to give this to Elliot right now. When we marry him, we still need to give him lots and lots of gifts so he knows that we still love him. <laughs> that is everyone's love language in Stardew Valley is gift giving. <laughs> I mean, they don't give gifts to us, but I guess sometimes they do. They mail you gifts on occasion. All right, do we have enough room in our inventory? We do. I want that now. And I would like to empty our pond. Did they just die? <laughs> Did they just fucking die? <laughs> and just let him fucking die? Goodbye, my dear flounder friends. You were very good to me. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Thank you for the very rhythmic pattern. <laughs> Huge fan of that. Uh, I don't think we have anything to put in there right now, but we'll come back. Oh no, crab cakes are what Demetrius likes, right? I just had that as a delayed thought. About, I mean, Elliot likes, um... Fucking lobster bisque. That's what he likes. Loves. Just, I can't, my brain. And then this, don't do that though, but just put that in. Okay. Nothing. I think we're good. We sold everything in the little shack. Okay. I'm just gonna take the minecart right over to our dearest little dwarf friend. So we can interact with him for the first ever time. Give me that weird ancient doll, thank you. More wormies. Everywhere there's wormies. Mines, baby. Dwarf dude, you are not gonna fucking believe this. Guess what I just got certified in. Guess who's your new best friend? I do want to buy something. What's up? Stone cairn. It looks like a duty. Just gonna buy a bunch of those. <laughs> That'll be our, a very good go-to for us. I'm literally... I'm rich. Bitch. Okay. Take this. I love you. I hope you like me more because I just spent, like, a large sum of money at your facilities. <laughs> So, how, what's the best way to do this? Hold on, I gotta... I gotta... Reorganize... Caroline, Evelyn, Lewis, the wizard... I'll put that down here. Kent... Oh, you know what? We'll give that to Alex because we have the fiddlehead risotto for Kent. There you go, problem solved itself. Carolina, you home. Doesn't matter. The doors are fucking closed. Okay. Hi, Abigail. How's life? Grandmother. Yay! And we're at ten hearts with her now. Wunderbar. He is not home. 
which means I think the only other place that I know of that he hangs out is by the train tracks, so we'll see if we get around to that. <laughs> Why, other otherwise we have what? Lewis, here is a hot pepper. Great, glad you liked it. I still come by every night to collect your produce, even in the snow. Well, thanks, man! And all the other weird crap I come up with? Oh, we can give that snail to, <laughs> to Vincent! There you go. The weird little child that he is. Sir? Here you go. Oh, he really likes it. That's so nice. Oh, damn. Lost a lot of friends in battle. Weird switch of gears. What do you do for fun? I like sleeping. Alright, I mean... That's fine. You don't have to have a hobby. Just... Maybe you'd be a little happier if you did? I don't know. Just guessing. Snails are cute. Effervescent. <laughs> yeah, do you like that solid 2018 uh, Tumblr reference? Not really sure, actually. I really do enjoy the fact that nothing has a date on Tumblr unless you really have to. You really have to kind of look for it a little bit. For you, sir. Yay, 10 hearts with Demetrius. I don't have a kitchen in my house yet. I'm working on it. Yeah, nothing really yelling at me. I mean, the mill. Yeah, I guess we could do the mill just to have it, really. Uh, what about upgrading the house again? What is it? Just to make sure. 100. Ooh, we're gonna need more money though, right? Isn't a hundred how much We are absolutely floated. Rocky, are you really sleeping that hard? Do you really need to snore that loud? Or are you just trying to prove a point? Maybe he's trying to tell me he thinks that my stream is boring. Are you not having a good time? You don't you can go home if you're not having fun. You can go listen to your father play guitar. That sounds fun too. Yeah. <laughs> he snored louder when I said that. You're right. Rocky wouldn't ever be that rude. He is a very polite boy. To, to me, at least. <laughs> it's kind of rude. I don't even know where he hangs out. What do you do for fun? He just works out and stares at his dog. <coughs> we only have one of those things in common. Okay, well, he does not appear to be up here, so... Maybe let's go see if Vincent's at the library. And Jazz as well. Maybe they're they're at school. We'll see. We'll see. Oh no, we can't go around there. Maybe I should just be drinking coffee. I do love Pashmina, but That's true, is his dog even still alive? Oh, he loves it, good. We never see it. <laughs> is it just a figment of his imagination? Sad. Alex, are you at the library? <laughs> just fuck. Everybody's schedules are a little bit different. All right, well, you know, when we see him, we see him. <laughs> I'm not really in a rush to, to give him any gifts, obviously. It's not even on purpose. It's not like I hate him or anything. Hi, Leah. I love you. Saw a snow rabbit early this morning. They're rare, aren't they? I love you. All right. Bye. You're so cute. Goodbye. No. No. <laughs> Happy birthday, you old bastard. Woo, and we're at 10 hearts with him now, too. Damn, we're just fucking knocking everybody off the list. Oh, I forgot to plug in my computer. Hold on a second. Literally a 
about to shut down. Whoops. Just not on a roll today. I don't know what to tell you. I just... After... Oh god, it's not like three things over. I think it's because I'm just I'm still a little sick. Just tired. Just having a rough go of it. Almost just yanked my headphones out of my head. It's good. It's good. Okay. All right. Another crisis averted. <laughs> night market's open. Let's go chop down some hardwood and then go to the night market. Oh my god, I'm, I'm suddenly extremely hungry. I was like a little hungry before when we were talking about sandwiches and mac and cheese. But now it's a strong hunger. I'm either gonna make chicken piccata or a matriciana. A matriciana? I never, I never, I can't say it right. Fake Italian alert. But I'll make one of those tonight. It's gonna be tasty. I have to be up all early for work again tomorrow, though. I have to actually go back in person. Not happy about that. But only a couple days a week, so, you know. But anything to bitch about, I'll take it. Thank you. I, I, I hope they I hope whichever one I, I make sound it ends up being amazing. I haven't had chicken piccata in a really long time, and I've never I've never actually cooked a matriciana. But get a little bit of bacon going because I'm not fancy enough to get the other Italian meat that everybody uses in it. I don't even know if King Supers has that. <laughs> so we're just gonna use bacon. It's gonna be great though. Excuse me. I don't know if uh, the way that I was taught to make chicken piccata is just like non traditional Did I get all of it? I did. Non-traditional or if like, if it's just a different in different regions of Italy. I'm learning over the years how many things, how many different things are separate in different parts of, uh, in parts of Italy, i.e. the famous sauce versus gravy debate. If you call it gravy, don't even look at me. <laughs> Unbelievable. The audacity of calling of calling a gray. <laughs> uh little gout marks on the side suggest that this was someone's dinner. Gross. Thank you for the support, Savannah. <laughs> Telling you. Just get these out of here. I'm not, I'm not, I don't need all of that. Um No, I should be saving some of them, I guess. It's fine. Where was I putting them? In here. Okay. Is that what we wanted? That is what we wanted. Now, you know what? As much as I love Dearest Caroline, that's going to be very useful for us. That and that. And I'm also going to take anything we had for Demetrius and put it in that bin as well. Do we have any other gifts over here? Ah, all the flowers. These are all just going to be for Jazz now. Oh, we don't have enough room for all that. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, you just got your first prism in Stardew? Ooh. I like that you play at the same time. That's that's really nice. <laughs> it's like a sweet moment for us to share. <laughs> we should play on, on multiplayer one of these days. Well, congrats. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Boom. Straight to boarded up Joe it goes. Or oh, it's that kind of playthrough. The multiplayer is really fun. I've only played it. I played it with Sarah, of course, um, a while ago, and uh, I'm sure it's a little bit different now. But that was really fun, and I, I really like having like a conjoined Abigail. You good, babe? Okay. 
I really enjoyed having someone to like share a farm with. What a great soundtrack here. Have you seen the mermaid show? It's my favorite. Yeah, I bet it fucking is. Must be so thrilling to travel the world like they do. It's true, I would like to be part of that. Sharing is caring, as they say. Do we have this? I don't think we do. What kind of banners do we have in our house? I know we have banners in there. Is it the clouds banner? I don't like that they don't stack. The the beautiful little like instant handmade coffee. I guess all coffee is handmade, but this is one of the newer traditions in Pelica Town. But we've taken it to rather, taken to it rather quickly, haven't we, George? Just here for the free coffee. Well, if all else fails, I'll become a submarine captain. That might be cool. Elliot, mine love. A fleet of exotic merchants traveling the world in search of riches beyond imagination. What an adventure. You can tell he's a writer. He thinks about things extravagantly. <laughs> well, I really just, uh, I gotta tell you, I just don't need a single thing on here. Sorry. I don't want those trees. We'll do a little fishing. We'll do a little fishing. Why not, right? We emptied our pockets for this. I wish you could walk on top of this and then just allow yourself to be consumed by the deep when it opens. I don't like the unsettling nature of how silent it is. <laughs> As you're slowly descending into the deepest parts of the ocean. Nice. Just trying to see if I could cheat it before the little green light came on. I want the treasure. I think I can get it. And the fish. Ooh. Yeah, bud. Yay. Hey, a little spook fish. Bait, bait. Oops. That's fine. Have we sold? We have. I don't know. I want to know what these other dudes are. I like that they give you little stats. I want to make that chicken piccata tonight. I'm going to make it with some some lemon roasted asparagus and some fucking oven roasted baked potatoes as well. But it sounds like I just feel like it's going to take a long time. I will literally make you dinner, Sarah. Come to my home. Border Patrol doesn't have to know. Who's going to know? How would they know? <laughs> But I want it, but it's gonna take a long time. It also takes me a really long time to to fry chicken cutlets. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if that's like a, if I, that's like a, oops, I didn't mean to hit square again. If that's like the type of thing where it just, you know, recipes always make it sound like it's not gonna take that long. Might always take a really long time. Maybe I need to pound them out thinner. We do have one of those little meat tenderizers now. I need to do that. I'm always afraid I'm going to undercook it, too. So maybe that's really what it is. Maybe it's just me. But I don't feel like I overcook them. They're always, like, juicy and, and just right when they come out. So I don't know. But on my piccata, I like to put... Instead of... I never use capers. I just wasn't... That wasn't the way I ever had chicken piccata first. I've now come to... I From what I've seen on the internet, at least. Most people bread and fry it in flour. With, like, parmesan mixed into the flour. And then, all right, this is taking too long. We gotta go. And then, 
fry it like that and then cover it with, um, you know, like a white wine lemon juice sauce. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, I drank my tea too fast. And then, uh, and then put capers on top. But, uh, I don't, I never had it that way. I have it, you bread it and fry it in breadcrumbs, like a normal person who breads and fries and flour. I just don't, I don't know. I'm sure that's probably good too. It's just a totally different coating. That's like how I've had chicken marsala. I've never made it. I've never made chicken marsala, but that's how I, that's like the type of breading they have on chicken marsala, but I don't know. Anyway, I, fr I bread it in Italian seasoning, what do you call it? Breadcrumbs? And then, uh. Uh, damn, Willie, were you at the saloon until 1 a.m.? Good for you. And then I put, uh, then I chop up, this is the only, literally the only occasion in my entire life ever where I'll ever eat olives. But I mince olives and garlic and make that white wine and lemon juice sauce and, uh, and just put it on the top. It's really good. Your mom breads and fries and flour. That is valid. I'm not... Oh, I, I did phrase it that way. That's not how I meant it. Who does that is not really what I meant. Who does that for piccata? For chicken piccata, I guess, is really where I was going with that. <laughs> not to literally directly insult your mom's lovely cooking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just never had it with that. I, I just... I, I mean, I, I didn't... I don't... I didn't have chicken piccata until I was an adult anyway, but still... Oh shit, it's 1.40. Oh no. Oh god. Oh my hubris. Oh my hubris. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh. Oh. I'm in bed. I did it. I've done it. I have done it. <laughs> During the night, Zeus gave birth to a baby cow. Okay, there we go. Presta. Pretza. Pretzel. I'm gonna name her Piccata because I'm thinking about chicken Piccata. No, we got to name our next chicken Piccata. Zeus is one of our cows. <laughs> I don't know where we got Zeus from. I don't really remember that one, if I'm being honest. But now we have so many children, I just don't really know. Um, what should we name this cow? What's one of Zeus's daughter's names? <laughs> Artemis, Athena. Oh, I do like Athena. Artemis is neat too. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Athena. I'm gonna go Athena today. Boom. The baby cow Athena. Hell yeah, thirteen thousand even. I'll take it. Big name to live up to. Yeah, true. Yeah, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to make my children nervous by naming them after something crazy. <laughs> Underneath all that snow, spring seeds are champing, chomp, champing. Isn't it chomping at the bit? To start their new lives in the sun. Don't be surprised when spring rolls around your farm needs some tiny up. kind of like it. They don't match, but I kind of like it. Okay. Picked up this recipe overseas. Enjoy. Want to say thanks for making me feel welcome. Super meal. Oh, Ken. Thanks, bud. Oh, nice. A purple mushroom. That's honestly very needed. Oh, my God. I'd like to give you some information about the Feast of the Winter Star. It's time for the community to come together and think back on all the good fortune we've had this year. A favorite tradition is the secret gift exchange, where everyone in town is randomly assigned to someone else. On the day of the festival, everyone brings a gift for their special friend and surprise them with something special. This year, your secret friend is Shane. Don't tell anyone. The feast will take place on the 25th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the town square. See you then. He likes... Pepper Poppers. And we've got plenty of materials for that, so we'll just make that the day of. I'm not even worried about it. Pajmina, my dear, please come here. Do not tell anyone. Santa will know if you do. It's true. Man, I want to play Minecraft. I haven't played in so long. I'm gonna go play at that mahogany tree. Pashmina, I'm sorry, dear, but you're kind of right in the way. Ooh, 
Oh, just enough room. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit more organized. We'll plant this in a minute. I'm gonna go give that to Alex. What else? Who else can we give some gifts to? We kind of already gave two gifts to a bunch of people, so let's see. Who who are we looking at? Willie, George, Jody. Oh, we only have two diamonds left. Um, I'll take it out. That's fine. I'll give one of these to our little dwarf friend. Willie, Jody. What else? You know what? Sarah, you do not want to play Minecraft with me. I'm very bad at it. <laughs> um, what else does Willie like? What else does Jody like? Let's see. Chocolate cake, crispy base, ready for members on, fried eel, pancakes, or fried. I don't want to make any of those things, so I'm just going to give her a diamond. <laughs> what about Willie? Diamond, iridium bar, mead, octopus, pumpkin, sea cucumber, surgeon. I also don't want to give him any of those. So we're just not going to. That's fine. You know, that's true. That just gives you the chance to show off to me. You know, mm -hmm. I, I hadn't thought about it like that. You're right, and you're right. <laughs> uh, and we'll just give one of these to Clint. I don't know why I have 8 million sunflowers. I'm going to sell some of those. <clears throat> and who else? Who else are we working on? Yeah, I've seen your, like, I feel like your, your incredible, like, uh, what would you call it? I don't know. Like, your islands, Sarah, are always really good. Your island is always really good in Animal Crossing. Your town is always really good in Animal Crossing. I just feel like you're good at, like, interior decoration and the like. And, uh... We have more leaks. Where are they? Am I crazy? No, this one. Here we go. And, um, you know. Oh, there's more. Oh. Alright, I'm just gonna keep it over there. I just feel like you're the type of person who would be really good at it. Not that one, this one. Uh, this is probably fine. We have Willie, Jody, Dwarf, Clint, George, Alex. I don't know. Who else? It's that interior design brain, bro. 